bubbles. Number one, potato chips. Well, crisps, as we call them in Britain. So, how do these much-loved snacks that the Americans spend more than seven billion dollars a year on come into existence? Well, funny story. Legend has it that in 1853, in a Saratoga Springs restaurant, the cook, named, quite amusingly, George Speck Crum, <laughs> was getting increasingly annoyed by the complaints of one particular customer who kept saying that his French fried potatoes just weren't crispy enough. So, his solution was to cut the potato as thin as possible, deep fry it, and then serve it with what he thought was a disgusting amount of salt. Now, much to his surprise, the customer absolutely loved it and ordered more. And then this became the house specialty, and um, the snack was born, much to the disappointment of waistlines all around the world. We've all seen those survival programs where someone's out in the wilderness and they have to try and survive. They have to start a fire using a magnifying glass or a couple of pieces of flint, or by rubbing two pieces of wood furiously together. Thankfully, we have John Walker, a British pharmacist, to thank for the invention of the match. In 1826, Walker was stirring and mixing some chemicals in his laboratory when he suddenly noticed a dried clump of something on the end of his mixing stick. He tried to scrape it off, but the friction sparked a flame, and so he started to market his friction lights, selling them directly from his pharmacy. The first few batches were made of cardboard, but he quickly replaced those with wooden splints, and each box came with a piece of sandpaper to light it with. He was told that he should trademark his invention, but he considered the product to be of a benefit to mankind, which it surely was. But unfortunately, others copied his idea and they took over the market share. Unfortunately, putting Walker out of business. Number three, the post-it note. In 1968, a chemist working for the company 3M named Spencer Silver came across an idea for a low-tack adhesive that would be strong enough to hold paper onto other objects, but weak enough that when you pulled it off, nothing would tear or cause any damage. Now, he spent a lot of time trying to work out a practical application for this adhesive, but to no avail. But then one of his colleagues named Art Fry came up with the idea for a low-adhesive bookmark. And thus, the invention we now know as the post-it note was born. At number four, it's everyone's favourite plaything, <laughs> Play-Doh. How did this come about by accident? Well, originally it was used in DIY. Noah McVicker created a substance out of water, flour, salt, boric acid and mineral oil for his family's soap company, Kutol Products, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, maybe it comes as no surprise that this smelly, gooey stuff that kids have been playing with for decades was originally intended as wallpaper cleaner. In the early 20th century, however, people quit using coal to heat their homes, which meant that their wallpaper stayed relatively clean. Luckily for Cleo McVicker, the original inventor, his son discovered another use. Modelling clay. Lovely. Now, what made this an excellent wallpaper cleaner were the same things that ultimately made it a fantastic toy. It didn't contain toxic chemicals. It was reusable, and most importantly of all, it doesn't stain. Number five. Unless you're a culinary genius like myself, then the next item on our list could have been a lifesaver in the past. Yes, it's the microwave. Now, this traces back to the wartime in the 1940s when US company Raytheon was working on magnetron tubes in radar defense. One of the engineers, Percy Spence, noted that his candy bar had started melted due to exposure from radiation coming from the magnetron. And soon, he delivered a box that he could cook food in. <gasps> And he also noticed that the food cooked far more quickly using these microwaves. The first home microwave oven was made and distributed by his company in 1967, to the delight of people everywhere with absolutely no ability to cook a meal from scratch. We're going to press pause there for the moment and come back in our part two video to complete our list of top 10 accidental inventions.